about a style by wig pro this one offers some really unique and distinct possibilities this one is called u-turn i have it in two colors coming up Wig styles today were sent to me by Wig Pro in cooperation with Wig Studio One. If you drop below the video and expand the description box, I'll attach a direct product link there. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the site where you can see all of the colors and pricing. And remember that Wig Pro items are an automatic 30% off at checkout at Wig Studio One. No coupon is necessary. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. Don't forget to visit our private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. So let's get started. This is a unique little short voluminous shag style. These are always cute and classic. So you turn that short little voluminous shag style pixie cut with lots of volume flips and bends. It has some really nice fringe at around five inches. You'll also see a bit of a five inch crown an ample nape measurement, and then lots of different layers throughout, culminating in this really cute wedge style shag cut. So the color that I'm wearing here is 610T. So what we're looking at here is a medium brown base, medium to dark brown base, and then we have some lighter brown highlights. This is not a rooted color, but it is very dynamic. You can pick up on this soft blending of highlight on the entire style. So if you're a brunette lover, this is one of those brunettes that don't read, read really red. It weighs about two and a half ounces. It feels really lightweight on the head. Now the sizing is average. This fits me great right out of the box, but I did do a little bit of a cinch on the adjusters to accommodate my petite average circumference. So let's talk about the unique features of this style and then I'll show you the inside of the cap. This is meant to be a somewhat reversible, reversible in a way that you can wear it backwards and still get um, an attractive style that's comfortable and easy to wear. Now theoretically, theoretically, any wig style is capable of being worn backwards. I think as a joke one time I, I put on a couple of wigs backwards and you come up with a completely different style. Well, the main problem there was the cap because of the placement of the ear tabs and the adjustment and the cap in the back is different from the construction of the cap in the front. This one offers the same construction in the front as it does in the back and the ear tabs are more centrally placed. So let's take a look at this and then we're going to try these on backwards just so you can see the difference. Um, so here's your cap and I'm going to show it to you on the side first just so you can see where this rose lace material covering the wefts is present on both sides. You would typically find this on the top of your machine made style wig, right? Not typically in the back. They've centrally placed this tag so that it's out of sight and not sticking out at the front if you decide to wear the back and the front. And then you've got open wefts throughout the entire style. And then notice these ear tabs. So the ear tabs seem to be a little more centrally placed. You've got an ear tab here and an ear tab there. So there's two ear tabs. Uh, these ear tabs are rather shallow, but they do provide some really nice coverage, okay? Then your adjustment is directly in the middle. So you've got these strap type adjusters that's in the middle and rather than in the back. Isn't that unique? So the benefit of having a cap like this is that you can have some versatility in how you're wearing the wig style, right? This piece here is in the color Flame, which is a beautiful mix of some auburns and some coppers. It is not rooted in the deeper coppers in the traditional back and then some of the lighter coppers in the front. This one would be interesting to see how it looks reversed just due to the color application here, right? So let's go ahead then. I'm gonna try this one on. I'm gonna turn it around and try this on backwards and see how this changes things. <laughs> okay, so this is normal, right? I, I experienced this when I tried on those other wigs backwards too, is that the back is still, you know, how I styled it to wear it the other way around. So we have to work on this um, to get it to look anything like anything close to what we could actually wear out of the house, right? <laughs> it seems to be more voluminous, uh, worn this way as opposed to the other way. Okay. Okay, so the cap feels secure, 
although the ear tab on this side is a little farther up on my temple than it was on, in the other direction. Okay. So in the front, you notice that all of that layering is pretty thick there. You can style it off to the side. So remember those smooth pieces that were on the top? Those smooth straighter pieces that were on the top are now in the back. So we're dealt, dealing with this fluffiness here and curliness of what used to be the back and the traditional way of wearing it. And then those straight smoother pieces now are going to appear um, in the back of this instead of on the top. So I would prefer probably just to wear it coiled around the ears and then you have to work with this back a little bit to get it into wearable shape. And then iron out any awkwardness that you see in the back there. Um, I would suggest that when you do make these changes that you might use a little bit of holding a spray or something initially to keep these into place because again, they were used to being worn the other way. But this looks like something straight out of the 80s, doesn't it? There is a lot of volume here, kind of this feathery shag texture. So I have no idea what this looks like, guys. You know, there's a wig for every head, right? So yeah, I mean, is it for me? No, this is not a wig style that I would personally wear, but I do know there is a market for this type of shag worn in either direction. Okay, so let's go ahead then and put on the other one. This is worn the uh, with the smooth part on the top. My first application here. The identity of the style is the same. It's a sh short little voluminous shag still, even on this piece. So again, lots of volume, especially in the back worn this way, a little more smoother on the crown in the front, uh, worn in this way. Interesting, interesting. The concept is really interesting, I think. Um, if we can get more versatility out of our wigs, I just think that is a real plus, a real value add for us, right? All right, so this is what it looks like worn with the smooth part on the top and the front. Let's go ahead and switch it around. Again, really, really tightly curled now on the top, which used to be the back. Okay. And <clears throat> just wanting to form a style out of it by pulling some around the ear to shape it better. And then I'm really kind of worried about this awkward piece here in the back where, where it blends into the smooth areas. I'm going to get my mirror out on this one. It feels a little odd. Okay. So a squirt of water and some manipulation with your hands should bring this style into focus. But it's big 80s style shag. So I think the awkwardness is in these straight pieces here. Those would need to be managed. What do you think? <laughs> Not bad, I mean, if this is your kind of style, you can wear it two ways. I really kind of like that versatility. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick side-by-side -side here for you now. And then I'll just manipulate it around a little and uh, have some fun with U-Turn.
right out of the box, I didn't use any product. What you want to know about this also is that the density is an average density, but there is a lot of permatease. There's permatease throughout the entire style. As you can imagine, necessary to hold up and sustain all of this volume, although you can get a little bit of a smoother look on top and front when you wear it like this. So I'm just going to flip and manipulate these styles a little bit for you. We all learn a lot from styling. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you again real soon right here on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.